G'day, it's Kieran from Solid Tech here. In this video I'd like to show you a couple of different ways of looking at rebuild time in assemblies, which is something that we can do in 2011 now. Uh, the first way to do that is to look, uh, or to use the Assembly Expert. Now the Assembly Expert is a really great tool that we can use um, to look at a whole bunch of different information in, about our assemblies. For example, uh, the total number of components, uh, and then the unique number of components, and also the number of bodies. So some parts will have multiple bodies and so we can use this to work out the complexity of our assembly. Um, now normally we would have the rebuild option uh, to look at the full rebuild time. Uh, you can see though that the first little uh, warning here is that the assembly hasn't been rebuilt in the current version of SOLIDWORKS so I just need to rebuild first. Uh, you may need to do this if you've uh, opened up files that are old from say 2010 so just hit Control B. I like to hit Control Q which is a forced regen uh, and that will actually do a full, a full, full rebuild. Uh, I like to think of a re rebuild on steroids. And now, if we jump into the assembly now, we can take a look, and it says that the report is now ready from the last rebuild. So we can click on the little glasses icon. That's going to show us the full rebuild time. Uh, it's about 62 milliseconds. So even though it's a reasonably, it's a reasonably complex assembly, uh, it's still rebuilding fairly quickly. You can even save the list to a file uh, as a text file. Uh, or you could copy it to Notepad or something like that and, and paste it into Notepad or Excel. So you can tabulate these results. So you could copy this assembly onto another machine, check the rebuild time on that after doing a, a, a new rebuild, and you can use this, this time to compare or benchmark those systems. So we can return back to Assembly Expert if we wish. And it'll also give you information about mates and all, or a whole bunch of other things as well. But what I want to show you is a different way of looking at rebuild time, and that's using assembly visualization. Now, assembly visualization was added in 2010. Uh, if you just give it a second, it's a nice way of visualizing uh, different data about your uh, or contained within your assembly. So, if I just click on this little bar here, it's going to add those colors in that we've specified. At the moment, it's showing mass, so uh, going from red to yellow to blue. So. Uh, the blue are the components, the lighter they are. But we can change that, we can choose to look at a different property, and we can choose to look at SW rebuild time, which is the rebuild time per component. And now what we can do is we can choose to say, if I bring these two colors very close together, for example, in fact I might even get rid of that color, and grab the blue one. I'm just going to bring it all the way up to the top. Pull it up and just bring it right up next to the red. So now it's only red and blue, and I'm marking out all of the parts that take more than uh, one second to rebuild, and less than one second are all blue. So that's using assembly visualization to show the rebuild time. And so we could use this information to go in and try and optimize the parts if we need to. Uh, the other nice thing that you can do is that you can then save uh, save this as a display state so that if you need to call it up later on you can compare it after you've made your modifications and check and see whether you've made a difference or not. Uh, thanks for watching.